think we are all set and ready to go. So please welcome our special guest, Gay! Yay! We Yay! have four students this week. We've got all three people in one room. I know. <laughs> it's like we have to have like this much space between you. <laughs> and no hugging. Um, so we are going to do a, a warm up first, but this is going to be different because there's a tap class. It's not going to be a solo jazz routine. Um, today, yeah, it's the, the first of four classes in beginner's tap, learning a, a routine from a movie called Black and Tan Fantasy, which is um, Duke Ellington's in it, and it's, a, it's an old school black and white film. And then there's this random routine in it where there's four guys smushed together in a line, like no body movement, it's just all legs and feet. It looks really uh, interesting. It's a very different kind yeah. of dance. It's not a very COVID safe dance. No, say, no, not when you're doing it in a routine. No, not when you do it that way. But you can do it on your own or like with socially distance appropriate. We can. We certainly can. <laughs> um, can everyone just like wave stick. to make sure that you can hear me? Wave. Good. Okay. Let's get to it. I'm just going to... Okay. Uh, there is two cameras. If you're on Zoom, you can see the full body camera. There is also a camera that's called foot cam. So if you wanted to pin the foot cam to watch feet, you're welcome to pin that one as well. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hi YouTube. Um, hi YouTube. You've only got the one camera, sorry. Yeah. Okay. We are going to walk, warm up by uh, practicing a little bit of tap technique. The idea with tap is that everything in your ankle joint is going to be all loosey-goosey. This is all relaxed. All the big movements come from up higher on the leg, your ankle is just dangling and your foot is super floppy. So just give your foot a bit of a shake, balance on one leg and just shake that foot around. Ooh, get a good snap, crackle and pop out of it. And change. Leg number two, just give it a bit of a shake, warm up that ankle sideways, forwards and back, round circles. Ooh, shakey, shakey, shake. In the foot cam, like the length of your leg is all of Katie's height. It's really great. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so the first rhythm we're going to do is just a tap with the ball of our foot. So just the ball of your foot is going to touch the ground and it's going to be one every beat. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and change one. try and do two taps with our foot now to every beat. So it's going to be one, a two, a three, a four. Try to get a swung two beats per beat or hits per beat. So we start off with one and it's going to be a two. Speed up. We're going to do triplets. We're going to do three taps per beat. Remember, keep your ankle relaxed. If you're trying to just lift your toes and point your toes, the muscles in the lower part of your leg have to engage to kind of flex and then plant a flexion your foot up and down, and that's really slow. You want the ankle to be relaxed, and it's coming from really high up in your leg. 
Yes. I have a question. Go for it. Is your knee straight? Because I can't tell with your trousers. Are you? Do you have a bend in your knee, or is it pretty locked up? Uh, for these ones, uh, it's not really gonna matter. Okay. So you can have a straight leg in this. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, the bent leg stuff will come later. Cool. So yeah, it can be a straight leg for these. Straight. All right. So it's gonna be one and a two and a three and a four. So three taps per beat. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four. Five, six, seven, change. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, change. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, change. I'm really glad I don't have neighbors downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, you know what's coming next? Four taps per beat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Four taps per beat. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one E. Heel, ball. So I'm stepping onto my right foot with my heel, only making contact first, and then flattening my foot so the ball hits. And then the left leg, ball, heel. So nice and slowly, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Heel, ball, heel, ball, heel. So ball, then here. Five, six, seven, and one. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We're going to try to go one lot of eight, ball, uh, sorry, heel ball, and then into So we're swapping between it. You got one eight counts of going heel ball, and then swapping next lot of eight goes ball heel. Cool. A five, six, seven, and Heel, ball, four, five, six, seven, change, ball, heel, ball, five, six, change, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, double time. Yay. It's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Here we go. And five, six, five, six, seven, and one, two. Alright, 
While we're here, I do want to do a quick step. It's super um, common a paddle roll where we do a ball and then a spank. Sorry, a heel and then a spank. So a spank. So hang on, let's do the first one first. We're going to use the heel of our foot to hit the floor just in front of us. This is getting ready, this is loading for the next movement. So rather than stepping with your heel underneath, push your heel out in front, hit the ground on count one. As you lift your knee, your ankle's gonna relax, so the foot's gonna spank the ground. So you're trying to slap the ball of your foot onto the ground. It's much easier to slap if it's all relaxed, nice and relaxed ankle. It's going to make a nice, clear, crisp sound. If you have to point your toe and you try to force it, it doesn't make as much noise. Nice and relaxed. No scraping. Lift your knee so the foot just quickly slaps the floor. But then because the knee's coming up, ooh, it's a slap rather than a scrape. We don't want to pull or drag your foot on the ground. So dig, so push your heel forwards, and then as you lift that knee, spank the floor with the ball of that foot. Dig, spank, dig, spank, dig, spank, dig, spank. All right, to transition, we're gonna go step on the ball, step with the heel. Now it's your other leg's turn. So left leg, dig, and again, think about lifting your knee up and relaxing your ankle so the ball is going to slap the ground as your foot lifts up. If your foot is ending up behind you, that means you've dragged your foot across the ground. It's not going to make a nice sound. So no dragging that heel backwards. The foot should end up off the ground in front of you. If you've done this correctly, lift that knee. Dig. And then lift your knee. Spank. And your foot is still in front. Dig, spank, dig. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So the pattern is going to be dig, <coughs> spank. Ball, heel. And then your other leg. Dig, spank, ball, heel. And then we can repeat back and forth. Left to the right, left to the right. Five, six, seven, and dig, spank, ball, heel. Dig, spank, ball, heel. Right leg and left. Dig, spank, ball, heel. Dig, spank, ball, heel. Dig, spank, ball, heel. Dig, spank, ball, heel. All right, we're going to add something a bit more fun into this. We're going to do that through twice. Then we're going to go dig, spank three times before we go into the result. So do it with me. Okay. <laughs> right leg, go. Dig, spank, ball, heel. Left leg does it. Dig, spank, ball, heel. So do that pattern twice. Instead of doing it the third time, we just go dig, spank, dig, spank, and then finish off. Dig, spank, ball, heel. So we're putting... Uh, dig, spank, dig, spank, just right at the very end there, just before we finish it off. Let's just get slotted in before we finish the third time through. So let's try it again. Right leg, one, two, three, four, left leg, five, six, seven, eight. Now this is the right leg, we have that stutter. One, two, three, four. And then right leg finishes, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try on the left. So the left leg goes through. One, two, three, right leg, five, six, seven. And the left leg, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then double it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Questions? This is our first kind of tap step. It's a nice one. Paddle roll. Have some really fun other variations we can do with it. So it's a good thing to be able to learn to do really quick. Checking nine questions or something. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, is this where we do cartwheels? This is exactly when we do cartwheels. Excellent. Just as you were. <laughs> Uh, and then tap with your hands on the way through the cartwheel. Yeah, all my castanets, but like for your hands. <laughs> Put taps on your hands. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Challenge. You do that, Stan. You can do it. I'll just watch. <laughs> um, I think we'll go into the actual routine now. Okay. I can't see anyone looking uh, too confused. Everyone's pretty happy. Hopefully your legs are nice and relaxed and you got some tappy, tappy, tappy things. Um, we haven't done any shuffles or flops yet, but we will get to them. Uh, I think we'll just start the routine. Ooh. The routine starts with everyone off stage. So we're going to all pretend like we're backstage behind a curtain. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to enter. And then we all come onto the stage and then we get ready for our routine. The way we enter. I mean, I love the way that you guys just, you know, throw a whole bunch of like free bins. <laughs> People have got some good stuff. No cartwheels yet though, I need to see some more cartwheels. Uh, we're going to do a brush step. So, left leg is going to swing forward. And as it swings, it just slaps the ground on the way through. The ball of your foot, your heel doesn't touch. Be precise with your footwork, it's just the ball. and it slaps the ground, there's no scuff or sliding noise, you want it to be a slap on count eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I assume you know it. Let's step on count one. One. And then I bet you can't guess but we do the same thing on the right leg. Oh, damn it. Two. So we're stepping every beat, but in between every step we're just scuffing the floor with our foot. So it becomes a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. And that's when we start getting complicated on count six. So third time through, stop on five. Uh, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, five, six, seven, and three, two, three, four, five. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right. We have a good teacher. Oh, you too good. <laughs> Alright, let's do that intro one more time. I know it's simple, but I'll re like, it's actually really hard to make this sound clean and not like your foot's just dragging on the floor. I feel attacked. <laughs> Trying really hard to have a slap rather than a slidey, scrapey noise. It is used in tap, that scraping, sliding noise, but you want to do it on purpose, not because you can't do the slap. Anyway, one more time, starting with the left, on the eight, five, six, seven, one, So then we finish off the entrance with a shuffle ball change. 
So everyone just quickly practice a kick ball change. Kick with your right, and then really quickly step onto your right foot, only so that you can step onto your left foot again. So it's a kick, right, left. Oh no, camera <laughs> Kick with your right, and then ball change, right, left. And then we're actually going to take one more step to finish up this pattern. So it's going to be six, seven, eight. A kick or change step. Then we have to swap out the kick for a shuffle. So a shuffle is another one of those moves where we have to keep the ankles relaxed. This is my ankle. It's relaxed. So my hand can move really fast. If everything was engaged, the hand's not going to move very fast at all. Relax the ankle as much as possible. Lift your knee. So this is the right leg. As the right leg extends down, eventually the ball in your foot will touch the ground and it's going to bounce off the ground. There is no need to have to lift your toes. When you're doing it slowly, yes. But when you're doing it at speed, as your foot comes down to hit the ground, the ball of your foot is just gonna bounce boop, off the ground by itself. And your foot is going towards the ground the entire time. There is no need to have to swing your leg forward. The knee is coming straight down and the ball of your foot just bounces off the ground. So lift up your knee nice and high. As you straighten this leg down, your left, sorry, right foot, your right ball is going to bounce off the ground. Relaxed ankle, really bounce that ball off the ground. Okay, once we've got the sha, we have to do the full, which is where we lift the knee, and because your ankle is relaxed, the ball of your foot is going to slap the ground again. So you hit the ground twice. This is also known as a double open, which means you're hitting the ground twice and ending up with the foot off the ground. So we're going shuffle. It's really tempting to think forwards, backwards, but then you're going to create scrape on the ground. We don't want to scrape, we want to make two loud slaps. And that happens by the knee going straight down, and then straight back up. It sounds like the beginning of the Metro Goldwyn Mind, the MGM. Dun 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 dun. Oh no, the 20th Century Fox. Oh yeah. right. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's exactly. We can edit that in later. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right. We're going to try and do shuffles on the right and shuffles on the left. So here we go. Lift the right leg up. Six, seven, and roll one. Change. Sorry, I have to put it up. Oh, I need more press on the left. Keep doing it on the left. Ah, oh, such a bad side. Keep doing it on the left. More practice on the left. And change. Alright. So I hope you got the idea of a shuffle. Two noises. On count, uh, five, six and. Six and is the shuffle. The uh, seven is the ball change. Six and a uh, seven. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, ball change. So that's my right leg. Right, 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 left. Finish on that left leg. So really slowly, right leg, shuffle, ball, change, step. Remember we have got that step at the very end on count seven as well. Here we go. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. And shuffle, ball, change, step. That was in time! <laughs> and 
And again, shuffle, pull, change, step. And again, and shuffle, pull, change, step. And again, a shuffle, pull, change, step. So when you put it into the pattern, it's going to sound like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do it slowly, not at that speed. Oh. Starting with the left leg on the scrape and then step. Or the brush and then step. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two, two, three, five. One more. And one, two, three, four, five. Shuffle for change. Let's try just the third eight of that. Eight, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven. Left leg, right leg, left leg. Shuffle full change. Step. Five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five. And a seven, eight. And again, a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, eight. One more time. And five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Alright, we have got uh, one more part to finish off this rhythm break that happens a lot in the routine. A lot of moves finish with that and then go into... And that's kind of like the full stop at the end of a phrase and then it goes into some other idea. So let's just do that next bit. We're done. We now go... Oh god, I need to do it full speed. Left, right, left, heel. So it's three steps. Left, right, left. And then you're going to scoop your heel into the ground as you slightly kick forwards. So left, right, left, heel. Seven. It starts on the one. One and a two. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, and one and a two. A five, six, seven, and. We then have to do a ball, uh, a ball. I'm not even sure what this one is, this step is called. It's not quite a dig because you're ending up in uh, scuff. Up the ground. A bit of a scuff, yeah. Heel scuff? Heel scuff? You can go with heel scuff. Step heel scuff with the other foot. Swing thing where the moves are made up and the names don't matter. <laughs> Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. So are you going step scuff or are you going like ball scuff and your heel is staying off the ground? So theoretically in tap, your heel should never hit the ground unless you try to make noise. Okay. So because we're only doing the ball of the foot for the step, we do want to try to keep the heel off the ground. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. A five, six, seven, and. Step, 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 heel, step, heel. Is the heel the same both times? Or we doing the heel? The same thing? Yeah, it's the same move. Okay. Yeah, just another thought. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. And 
And again. Five, six, seven, and. Five, six, seven, and. And then we're going to step. Five, six, seven. So the whole rhythm is five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. In case you haven't noticed, I am learning this with all of you because I have not done this routine in like four years, three years. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, and one and a two, a three, four, five, six, seven. You got it. Five, six, seven, and. And that comes straight after our shuffleable change step. So as we come out of the scuff steps or the brush steps. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That happens a lot. There's a lot of times in the routine that that pattern happens. So this is kind of like the, the break of the one man dance. Let's go just do one eight of scuffs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Straight dog shuffle ball change. And then that break. Here we go. A five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Five, six, seven. I was just checking. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Um, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, three, four, five. Shuffle, pull, change, step. Da, 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 heel, and heel. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and a seven, eight. Da, 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 heel, and heel. Step, step, step. Cool. And again. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. It's that, yeah, the, 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 the I can do them in the bit of the transition that's getting me. Yeah. Can we do it again, please? We certainly can. Yay! A five, six, seven, and a one, two, three. the one. All right. How are we feeling, team? Give me a thumbs up if you want to move on to the next bit. Or a thumbs down if you want to do this a couple more times. All right. I'm getting a couple of votes for a few more times. Perfect. All right. We're doing it a few more times. Nice and slowly, and then we'll start speeding it up. Okay. Super slow. Five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, eight, one, and a two, three, five, six, seven, and again, a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and a one, three, four, five, six, seven, and a da, 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 
five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. And even faster. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. At least we did the five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, how are we doing for time? Oh yeah, let, now let's move on. The next bit's super easy. The next bit's easy, you're fine. We've just done our five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna do it side on so you can see. My right leg is gonna swing forwards, swing back, swing forwards, swing across. So my right foot has gone to the left side of my leg. So I'm going forwards, back, forwards, cross. So at the end, oh yeah, you can, you can join it now. Okay. Just trying to get it down. We've just finished this five, six, seven. We can swing forwards, back, forwards, across. D, 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 D. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five. I was missing one, sorry. We do go back and forwards another time. So we kick forwards on eight, back on one, forwards on two, back on three, forwards on four, cross on five. So we can knock on six. Now a knock is where your tippy toes hit the floor. So not the ball on my foot this time, it is the, uh, the top of my toes. So if you've got soft shoes, don't do it too hard. Or you might lose a toenail. If you've got nice solid shoes, it will make a nice knocking noise rather than a, a slap. So all the different parts of the foot do make different noises, whether it's a thudding noise or a slappy noise, depending on how you hit the floor with that foot. So it's super important that we actually do the precise thing. Try to knock if you've got shoes that won't hurt you too much if you do it. If you're ever doing this move and open like pito shoes, like I have lost toenails. Because I was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so just yeah, be mindful of the shoes that you're wearing. So the knock uh, across yourself is on count six. Yay! Here we go. Start at eight. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. My foot just collapsed. There we go. Yeah, leave my floor alone. What has it ever done to you? <laughs> and five, six, seven. And again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't look at me, man. Uh, I can't do this routine slowly. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm still on that bit, like, y'all, you, you do you, boo. It's the break again, but I think I'm stopping on the number somewhere. Okay, that's so, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, no. Is it ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think yeah. we'll start the scoot on the one. Yeah, tap usually does, doesn't it? Well, we started the routine on the eight. Did we? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Numbers! Get break started on six. Comic relief! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's try doing the scuff on the one. So the shuffle will change on the six like before. Um, I don't know how we get to that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. It's the exact same break, except for the very, very, very last noise that you make is a tap, not a step. So those three steps at the end, five, six, seven, becomes five, six, seven. So rather than step, 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 it's step, step, touch. So we're swapping our way at the very end there. So let's try the, the swinging the leg. Six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, eight. Duck, knee, down, heel, and heel, step, step, touch. 
So as soon as you've knocked your right leg, you have to do the shuffle ball change. Step into the rhythm. Step, step. I have a question. Okay. The so the rhythm of the da 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 the shuffle ball change. Yep. Is that the same rhythm as the ba ba ba? Yes. Cool. Thank you. Ah, that helps me. <laughs> Six and a seven. Yeah. Da 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 da. Versus a one and a Little sound different, but the rhythm is the same. Yeah, it's yeah, so one and a two, and yeah. a six and a seven, so yes. Cool. Awesome, thank you. Alright, swing in the right leg. Forwards, back, forwards, cross, knock, shuffle. Touch. Touch. <laughs> Try it again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, five, 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 six, seven. The same thing on the left leg. So swing your left leg forwards. One, backwards, two, forwards, three, cross, four, knock, shuffle, full change. With your left. I was not prepared that we would have to do this on the other side. <laughs> I would like to make a complaint to management. Shuffle. Ball change. Shuffle. Ball change. This is just for practice. Shuffle. Ball change. Shuffle. Ball change. <laughs> you know those memes where it's just like. Say something, repeats the exact same. Say something, repeats the exact same. Say something, the whole sentence. Say something completely different. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Like. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, ball change. Shuffle, ball change, step. Shuffle, ball change, step. Shuffle, ball change, step. Now we've got those three steps. And the heel scuff is going to be the left leg first and then the right because we're obviously doing it on the other foot now. So exactly normally it's left, right, left, right is the heel. For the other side, it's right, left, right, left. Left is the first scuff. So, shuffle, ball change, step. Three quick steps. And heel. Then step, heel with the right. Three steps. Can we do that again? Yes. Like at a normal speed? Not fast speed, just like all continuously. Shuffle, ball change, step. Step, 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 step heel. heel. Step, step heel. heel. All on the other side. Five. Sorry. Six and a seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six and a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, eight. Down the down left and right. Step, step, step. We're just going to do the entire thing from the very start of the routine so you know which bits go where, and then uh, we'll go back and do it again. any bits that we need to. Is we'll that a question? And then we'll do it again. Oh no, that was about the Yeah, time. cool. Exactly. All right, here we go. Left leg, brush step, three lots of eight. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Again, two, two, three. Five. One more. One, two, three, four. Here we go.
Yeah. I totally nailed that in case anyone was wondering. I did not make a single mistake That's and it awesome. was fine. Good yeah, job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Tim, let's do that again. Uh, actually, are there any questions before we go through the entire thing again, just like that? Um, I've got one more step I want to teach us, which I will teach us very shortly. I reckon we just do it a whole bunch of times until our muscles go, I get up, I'll just do it. Yeah, okay. Cool, no one's rushing up to the camera to start typing. I think we just do it again. Yeah. Uh, five, six, seven. And again, two, two, three, five, one more time, three, two, three, here we go. Swing the right leg. Swing the left. Actually, I'm going to go to the song. I was going to say, can we have a beat? Yeah, yeah, let's put the song on. The song doesn't really help. It's, okay. <laughs> but I want us to get better at doing it to the song. The reason the song doesn't help too much is because it's a really low quality song. The, the song is called Black Beauty and the full version of the song doesn't match the dance very well. They did a different version for the movie. But the only audio of that different version is from the movie. So you can hear the tap in the background. Ah. So someone's gone back to try to take off all those tap noises, but it's also brought down a bunch of their other levels as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a recording. It's the right song. It's the right link. It's just not the best quality. So the song is... Black Beauty, One Man Dance. Here we go. Five. 
we've got that touch in between, and then six and a seven, eight. Okay, right leg, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six and a seven, eight. And that again. A five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six and a seven, eight. And again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six and a seven, eight. Alright, let's try and lift in. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six and a seven, eight. And lift again. Five, six, seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven, eight. All right. So hopefully that corrected that. Uh, the last step I want to teach you guys really quickly is a step shuffleable change. It's called shuffle off to Buffalo. It goes off the side. It travels sideways. Oh yeah, I'm not, sorry. <laughs> It's, uh, it's a super common jazz step, or um, yeah, jazz step as well as a tap step. And it is the next part of the routine. We won't do the choreography, we're just going to practice the step. Step onto your left leg, shuffle, and a step. Step, shuffle, step. One and a two. We step with the left, shuffle with the right, step onto the right. So there should be four noises. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one and a two. And other side, step onto your right foot, shuffle with your left, step onto your left. Step to your right, shuffle, step. Step to the right, shuffle, step. So let's go to the start. Uh, five, six, seven, and one, and a two. That step is called shuffle off the buffalo. Keep practicing that so that we can do it next week. Let's put the song on a couple more times now that we've got that tap on count five before the shuffle, and then we'll have to call class there. I'm gonna turn the music up louder because my shoes are really noisy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>
I said, best music quality ever, right? I'm surprised that no one's uh, redone it. Oh, we should get in touch with Oz Big Band. Oh, that's true. And just be like, hey guys, can you side project. Do the Black Beauty song for us in this structure. Yes, please, so that we can actually do this and have it cute, clear music. Yeah. They'd, nice. they'd be down for that. They're a pretty cool bunch of people. They are. Good on Adrian. Okay. Um. So yeah, hope that wasn't too confusing. Mostly, I wanted to get you moving your feet, relax those ankles, making noise, and getting used to that. rhythm break. We are going to have to start pushing through more choreography next week. Um, and you, hopefully I can find some better music or cut something together that's better. Um, do you or have, maybe I will have to do it a couple of times by myself so that I can hear it a bit easier. I was going to say, or um, is there a clip of this routine? I'll make a class recap for this class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just so that people can, can see how it fits together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nope, I will put up a class recap so you can actually see the, the actual rhythms like nice and clearly rather than trying to go back through this entire hour long class. Cool. All right, we're going to get ready for the next class. Yay! Oh, climbing lats. <laughs> <laughs> so ISO Hop is starting in five minutes. We're going to put the music on if they keep dancing uh, and we're going to try to shuffle over the YouTube um, stream to somewhere else. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Sha. Thanks, Sha. Good effort, team. Keep tapping those feet.